Hello, and welcome back to It's What I Do. Got a little job to do today. Um, I've got to clean the filters out, and I've got to do that first. Um, but then I've got one of the slide valves on the bottom of the upflows that's leaking. So I've got to re replace the seals on those. Um, I've heard loads of people say about doing them, um, but I've never seen anybody do a video on it, so I thought I'd show you on a video um, what they like to do, what you've got to do, and all the rest of it. So, um, might be useful, might not, but we'll have a go anyhow. So, yeah, let me just show you, um, and uh, you'll understand what I've got to do. Oh, bear with me. Let's spin you around and I'll show you the amount of water that's leaking. Oh, now if it's not too dark in there, you can see I've got a tub here that's nearly full of water. Now, I did put about an inch of water into the bottom of it because the slide valve was actually um, letting air go through, so you was getting bubbles coming up into the upflow when it was running, and I didn't want that, so I put a about an inch of water in there, put a little short bit of pipe onto it. Um, yeah, so inch of water in, in there to cover the bottom of it, bit of pipe. Um, and that's how much water it's let through since then. That's about uh, three days. So, it, I mean, it's not leaking massively, but it's leaking enough. Um, so I need to get that sorted. So, I'll crack on and get these filters cleaned. Um, they are a bit of a mess. This here will go like a solid lump. Um, I've been having that issue with them, where they're uh, sucking in so much rubbish. It goes like a solid lump and it takes a bit of effort to get it to break up. But yeah, they do work well. Right, I'll get on with that and I'll come back to you. One that's got the, uh the leak, this one. Um, I finished cleaning the upflow. I'm just letting it drain off a little bit, and I'm going to I'm going to kick this one off. Um, so this one starts. So let's let's see whether you can see what I mean about this goes into a solid block. Yeah, let's see what I mean. And that can take a little bit of time to actually break that up. But they are impressive. They really do work well. So it's taken ages. But it will go. I've had it now, before now, where you've had such a solid block there that it, it's boiled the stuff above it but left a solid block there. And the only way you can get it to uh, do it is to drop the water so that it breaks against the air pipe. But th this one will go, it should. Um, it's starting to go now. So you, easy pods will do this as well, they'll, they'll go solid like that, but you don't see it because you've not got a clear pipe to look into. Um, because easy, easy pods work on a very similar basis, um, apart from the water comes into the sides of it. Yeah, it's nearly going. Any second now. There you go. So I'll leave that to boil for a little while uh, and I'll get on with taking the other bit off, the uh, slide valve off and having a look at that. So back in a sec. Okay, th these are what we need to change. These are the seals that go inside the valve and obviously I've taken the valve off. So the first thing to do is to undo all these screws around the edge of it. Uh, it's uh, 10 mil, I believe. That's 8 mil. Oh, let's see whether that fits. No. So I think it's a 10 mil. Yep, 10 mil. 
So just undo those. each one you might need an extra spanner on these just to hold the other side A bit awkward trying to do this and film at the same time. <laughs> You're trying to hold it in one place, it doesn't go out of shot. Right. So they should be all cracked. So then it's just a case of removing those. And then the sides come apart. Now these are these are the rubbers, the seals, right on the edge there. So we just gently pry that out. And you can see that one. Gently pry that out. And that's the two old seals out. Now, before doing anything else, I want to check the actual slide itself, make sure there's nothing on there that's causing it to wear. And there is a there is some score lines on there, not on that side. So it may well be that that's causing wear against the uh, seal. So there's obviously grit or something got inside there at some point and they scored that. Now I might be able to smooth that off with a little bit of wet and dry. We'll give it a go and I'll come back to you. Okay, using a little bit of uh, 600 wet and dry and I wouldn't use anything coarser than that. I've very carefully just sanded those scratches out of there. However, once I've cleaned it up, what I've found, I don't know whether you can see it, but there are some really deep scores on the side there, which I don't think I'd be able to sand out no matter what. They, they really are deep. Um, no idea what's caused that. So what I'm gonna do, I won't use this one again. I'm gonna swap the middle out of this one um, it is a brand new one and I'll I'll put it on 
the old plates because they've got the solder welded bits in them um, and we use that but that is how you change the seals on a Vin uh, Valtera slow valve, gate valve, whatever you want to call it but they would they would uh, go on there like that just work them around and make sure they're seated tight take this one apart and take the central piece out and uh, swap it over for that one and then that one I'll get relegated to a spare um, in case of emergency one I don't tend to throw these, these things away because um, even though it has got a small drip on it um, it will do in case of an emergency if I get one go completely and I haven't got anything to replace it I can slap that one on knowing that it's got a small leak so just leave that there for a moment and I'll get this one undone and uh, swap this middle piece over right inside the um, the new valve there is a lubrication on the uh, slide valve and obviously that's washed off on the old one um, I'm not sure what the lubrication is I would imagine it's probably going to be red red rubber um, grease um, I can't tell but I'm just going to make sure there's not too much on there um, you do need a little bit because you need it need it to slide on the uh, new rubbers. Um, you don't want it dragging across them because that will just wear them prematurely. Obviously, once you've got water gone through it, then the water will lubricate them anyhow. So now I'm going to put it back together using the old the old uh, casing with the new slide. So. I don't think there's a right and wrong way to put these but I'm going to put it so that the writing's at the top just makes sense to me yeah when you look at them there's a, there's a number at the top so if I just put that up that way so that it, it's all up the same way and then we'll just get the screws in tighten that back up right now we'll tighten this down slowly and you do it opposites anything like this I would always do opposites um, obviously if there was more than four screws you'd do star pattern or something but you do it slowly um, so that it doesn't walk the plate because you want that to be nice and square all right once we get down to the last one now we can tighten it up properly
that should be it. Let's give it a blow test. Yep, that seems good enough. Right, I'll get that fitted back on the pipe. Back in the mode. Okay, put it all back together. I filled the uh, upflow half full and checking, and there's no leaks, so that's solved that. So that's all good. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Um, you now know how to take one of the slide valves apart and what the, the uh, seals look like inside and what to check on the actual slide itself. Um, I say unfortunately that one's got too heavy a score on it that you just wouldn't be able to sand out. Light scoring you can sand out with a little bit of 600 wet and dry as long as it's not too deep. Um, if it goes too deep then you'd have to take too much of the plastic away and it would cause problems anyhow, it would probably leak. Um, so very very light sanding um, do the whole thing don't just do the area that's scratched do the whole thing because you need to try and keep it as flat as possible so go across the whole thing wet and dry 600 grit um, and that should work a treat um, you can go lighter, lighter grit if you want but you don't want to go any heavier so 600 and above is fine um, nothing below 600 um, I mean, it, it will remove the stuff quickly, but um, you're likely to take away too much plastic. So. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it useful. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.